Hello dear ones, it's Alice. So here I am at uh, Pastorius Reservoir in the afternoon. I had to get, have to get moving pretty fast and get back, but this is a beautiful spot. This is a location I love. And if I'm quiet for just a minute, you can probably hear the wind blowing. I'll be quiet. Can you hear it? I'm going to walk on now and find a spot in the shade where we can chat. So here I am in the middle shade under a beautiful juniper. No, wait, what is this? Okay, I give up. I'm not sure what kind of tree this is, but there are little juniper trees around. There's one behind me. It's been a tumultuous time the last few days. And um, there was a huge rain here. Giant rain. The roof started leaking. The cat got scared. Went and hid behind the toilet in the bathroom and I couldn't even find her for a while. And uh, that happened at night. And then the internet went out and the phones went on the fritz. <laughs> it was interesting. So my car would go, that was good. And the electricity was on, but aside from that. <laughs> and so, so I kind of wanted things to be the way they used to be, you know. I'd like to have the internet and my computer to be working right. and I'd like my friends to be able to call me, no problem. <laughs> so I was, I was feeling, well put out in a, an emotional sort of way. <laughs> and then some other things happened on, uh, on the, in the fourth dimension. Um, so um, I've been discovering lately that it's no longer necessary for this, this human being here to be saving people in the world. <laughs> and I've been, I've been working with that because it really frees up my energy to be where I am and to, to fully realize who I am. And uh, it just really requires the faith to know that the divine is taking care of each one of us and that each one of us is divine, you know. So the situation in the world today is just a little bit complicated because uh, they're still roaming around an energy uh, that's, that doesn't feel divine to me. Not at all divine. And so... Um, Sometimes I feel like this energy is attacking me, and sometimes I feel like it's attacking other people. But um, the truth of the matter is, this, this roaming around uh, negative energy is not really attacking anybody, you know. It's, it's giving us all an opportunity to recognize who we really are. And so, by, by contrast, if you know what I mean. So... Uh, I was listening to a broadcast by uh, Jim Self and a lady named Barbara Clow, I think it was last night. This is the first time I've heard one of their broadcasts. And they were talking about things that I don't usually consider about the news today and, and that kind of thing. Look, my face is dark and light. Ooh. <laughs> one of the things they said is that these, these stupendously awful headlines we've been seeing about Syria and the imminence of war, which was then, they said that then they, there was this poll of the American people that showed that, that the American people were overwhelmingly against war in Syria, right? I read that in the news line too. And they said they thought that was the wave of the future. That the politicians would be finding that the general people in the population are against those acts of aggression. They're against the violence, they're against all that stuff. And that is because people are waking up. People don't have to like look at a video or, or, or search online or be a member of an oracle group or any of those things to wake up. People who are doing regular work in the world, maybe working at a supermarket, maybe they're in the gas station, you know, maybe they're, they don't have a, 
any sense at all of how the energy is changing, they are still benefiting from it. The whole world is waking up. We don't really have to do anything because the divine is doing it for us. And uh, the last thing that uh, Jim Self and Barbara had to say, well, they had a lot to say, but, but the other thing that really interests me is these, these stories that you see online about the massacres and that kind of thing, they keep popping up, right? Stories of extreme violence. And they said the reason those, those stories are happening is because um, when people see them or online or read them in the newspaper, the, all their own feelings of uh, like um, fear of death come to the surface and have a chance to escape from Earth. And in fact, uh, Barbara was saying that she looks at the news for a half an hour every day and the feeling that she feels when she looks at the news, she consciously transforms it. So uh, because it's the, the, the feeling that a whole bunch of people are feeling all over the world when they see that news, you know? Mass clearing of the, of the humankind. Ah, so I hope you have a wonderful day and I hope you have a chance to, to be all that you can be the greatest spiritual, energetic person in, in the history of mankind. That's you, and that's everybody else.